Hi there, it's Julia from Cuckoo for Design and today I want to show you how I restored our outdoor teak furniture to its former glory. We bought these teak sun loungers about 18 years ago and besides applying the wrong stain to them, haven't touched them at all, which is why they were in such bad shape. You aren't supposed to pressure wash teak, but hey, I'm here to test things out. Plus, they were already in bad shape, so I didn't have much to lose. However, I did test in a small area first. After pressure washing, I cleaned the chairs with a mild dish soap and warm water solution and then rinsed them with a garden hose. Some of the stain did not come off with the pressure washer, but that is okay since I knew I had to do a lot of sanding as well. Here you can see an area that was damaged by the pressure washer, however that area was damaged with rot before already. Sanding did fix the spot again completely and you can't even tell. There were some damaged areas and even a couple of carpenter bee holes that I patched with a natural colored indoor-outdoor wood filler. I used my fingers on a putty knife and wasn't worried about being too accurate since the sanding would take care of that later. After the wood filler dried, it was time for sanding. I used my orbital sander with various fine grit sandpaper discs and also fine grit block sanders for in between the slats. Wear a dust mask and try sanding in the direction of the grain until the wood looks clean and feels smooth. After sanding, I washed the wood again with a vinegar and warm water solution to make sure there was no remaining sanding dust that could mix with the teak protector in the next step. It's important that the wood is clean and dry before moving on. Shake the teak protector container well and pour some of the liquid into a bowl. While wearing rubber gloves, dip a clean rag into the solution and wipe it on your teak wood. I applied two coats. Since I took my furniture apart, I had to assemble it again. This gave me the chance to replace some broken screws and fix broken hardware. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of one finished chair next to a dirty old chair. Isn't that an amazing difference? Here's a close-up of the wood filler after I applied two coats of the wood protector. It's not ideal, but I can live with it. Here are both finished chairs. I'm so happy with them. They were definitely worth all the work. Make sure to check out my blog post for more detailed instructions, links and more of my DIY projects. Talk to you soon!